So obviously one of the main takeaways from last week's game, JD was the fact that we couldn't cover tight ends at all. Uh, we were getting dominated by tight end one, tight end two, tight end three, tight end four on Cincinnati, all their tight ends. Um, but this week we're going against a guy who for all intents and purposes ha- has had a lot of hype since he's come out. Uh, hasn't really shown much uh, in the NFL, uh, but he's, you know, he's one of the mo- more athletic tight ends in the league. I would say based on his numbers and his measurables uh, mm-hmm. and a quarterback who loves his tight ends. And um, I, I kind of went back and looked at uh, Kirk Cousins' games against us in the Spags era um, of how he's utilized tight ends against us. So back in 2019 when um, Cousins played against us, he targeted his running backs and tight ends pretty much exclusively in that game. Um, and against uh, the Chiefs that day, uh, Kyle Rudolph had three catches for 23 yards and a touchdown. Irv Smith, late uh, Chiefs uh, tight end um, from this past offseason. Irv Smith had four catches for 33 yards. And then again, we played Kirk Cousins last year uh, where he primarily targeted his tight ends um, when uh, our uh, TJ Hawkinson, five catches, 51 yards, Josh Oliver, one for 15, Johnny Munt, one for 11. So all their, you know, these guys are all averaging about 10 yards a catch. And that's, Um, but what does the defense have to do to adjust to, you know, guarding the tight ends, JD? Because it feels like it's just, well, it's not running back, it's tight end. It's not tight end, it's running back. I just feel we're we're getting cooked by running backs and uh, uh, tight ends there every week. Well, I, I think it's going to be one of our uh, more difficult matchups uh, probably, you know, all year. Um, and, and I think what you have to do is generate a pass rush for one. Uh, I think once you start getting on Kirk Cousins and, and blitzing him a little bit, he he that sucker folds up. He folds up. And I remember him being up in Minnesota. We did the same thing to him, and that's what he started doing. He started folding up a little bit. Um, and 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 really, oh man, you either had to do some some bracket coverage, okay, doing some one on one with guys, and you just you really, I mean, it's it's, it's going to be what it is. Your guy better than your guy, okay. You can you can run zone, you can try to run some man. We've done that. Uh, man, not necessarily works in our favor, so you might have to run a little bit of zone. I think we'll do a little bit more zone here. Combination coverage is something that you necessarily could do. Um, so if you try to do a little bit of lurk, you know, uh, on a tight end, you could possibly do that too. So if you bring in, let's say, I say you bring this safety down, okay, you have lurk coverage, uh, you could probably play underneath and over top of a tight end if that's where he, he decides to go. Kyle Pitts finally has gotten a real quarterback for him to throw to. Uh, but he's only got six receptions, I think. Uh, yeah, for 46 yards and one touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> for as long as it's 12. Uh, and so, you know, he, he's been one. I had picked him up in fantasy because that's like ain't, he ain't been who, who they thought he was, at least for, for right now. Uh, and he's just, look, he's another wide receiver playing tight end. Who Cal Pitts is. Uh, so if you bring some heat, I think it's probably your best bet. Uh, and the reason I say that is it, it'll it'll hold up some of those holes, man. It'll 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 make sure you plug them, plug the holes up. Don't let Bijan Robinson start getting going. You know, that's another thing that we got to worry about. Uh, Drake London, you know, you 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 could get guys that, that could line up and, and go against him. Uh, Mooney is another guy that's got a lot of speed. He, he's he's a good receiver, but somehow I, he's not really doing well down there either. See, what what's Mooney got right now? Yeah, they, so he, had, he, he had a big week last week. It was like three for like 60 or something like that last week. Yeah, but he only got four catches out of two games. <laughs> so uh, I, I think a lot of that he is, uh, if you get some pressure on Kirk Cousin, that way he has to throw it quick. You bring pressure, you run man, you can be in a face right now and be physical as much as you want to. Uh, I think that might have to be the key. I think that might have to be the key. I don't see Cal Pitts having a big game like Likely and and um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Gasecki. Gasecki, yeah. Can't, won't, won't crush a gate, Gasecki. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah him. So, is that because you think there's going to be more of an emphasis on the tight end because you're getting cooked by tight ends? So do you think so? If, in that case, you think the running back out of the backfield may have a big game? Uh 
Because I feel like it's a, I feel like it's a pick your poison every week. If we, if, we, if, we, if we emphasize tight ends, we get cooked by running backs. And if we do the opposite, it's the, it's the other way around. That, that's kind of the way it feels like. Well, that's what I say. You could you could you could double guys up a bracket on the inside. You know, if you run, you know, some some zone to get the linebackers out there in the flat for the running backs, we hold them to about five yards, six yards here and there. I, I that's fine as long as they're not killing you. Uh, you'll be fine. I don't think you'll see something like we seen last week where he had 114 yards, uh, you know, uh, passing uh, to his tight ends. Uh, so I, I think. I don't think that's going to be uh, that's going to be the the, the issue. Go, 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 go! Yes, that's a first down. It's a first down. It's a first down. This football season, I'll be putting down normal sodas like Coca Cola for Olipop. Olipop offers a healthier alternative with its low sugar content and natural ingredients. Olipop is more than just a drink; it's a wellness companion that supports your digestive health. Packed with prebiotics, this fizzy elixir helps promote good bacteria in your gut, leading to improved digestion and overall well-being. So go ahead, click the link in the description and use promo code SODALOVE and get your can of Olipop so you can enjoy the game guilt-free. Go Chiefs! Use the promo code SODALOVE for 15% off now. Their leading receiver this year is, uh, as far as catches, is B. John Robinson. So they, they, Kirk's checking down like a champ, checking down like a champ. Yeah, man. That we'll be ready for the thing is, if you bring pressure, you know, you somebody's going to be on him coming out of the backfield right now. So you, you got to, you got to make sure if, if you come in, you got to hit home. You got, you got to be on him. And so whoever has B. John Robinson, man, has got to be right there in his hip pocket. So that's why when you run man to man, you don't let them, Give him time to throw the football. You got you got to bring something. Definitely bring pressure. Is um you you play, did you you played at Atlanta at, when you were in Philly and Kansas City? Did you, yeah. Is that a hard place to play? I've always had good games in Atlanta. Always. Uh, that's why I like going down there. So the crowd can get into the game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, th- this this crowd is a little bit different than when I played. Uh, I think it's, you know, a lot more uh, from what they've seen, you know, where they had a little bit of success, you know, when they had, uh, uh, you know, Matty Ice, you know, TG was down there and then, you know, they had, you know, the wide receivers and, you know, they had they had a chance, man, they had some, some chance uh, to do some things. So I think they're looking to try to bring it back. But you always going to have a good crowd down in Atlanta, always going to have a good crowd. It's a, it's just a, it's a great atmosphere to play. Let me put it that way. A great atmosphere to play. Yeah. Yeah. Have a stop conversions on third down have done well so far. And yeah, third down, it's, it's going to be key. And especially what, what I've noticed too, JD, and I don't know if it's coming because the cousin's coming off the Achilles injury. He was never really a mobile guy anyway, but it seems uh, like he's not leaving that. He's not leaving that pocket. He, no if, if, if you get him on the run, I think he, we, we have, we have, we have a good chance to kind of get him rattled. Yeah. I think we, I think we do too, you know. So, uh, I'll have, I'll have as far as like what you know our game plan coming on Friday, uh, you know, breaking everything down as far as like what we're gonna do, how we want to attack them, uh, mm-hmm. even more. But I, I do, I do see them definitely going into the game trying to get it to the backs and the tight ends. The thing is, how do you, how how do you how do you cover it, right? If you bring men, you get guys got to get home. They got to get some pass rush. They got to get there. Uh, and they got a good offensive line. Bijan Robinson has been running the football pretty hard, man. He's And them suckers have been blocking. They do some really good double teams up front. Uh, and those guys don't mind, you know, letting him get out and get loose. So yep. he, he to, to be honest with you, he's the key. I don't think you, I don't think you look to throw it for, you know, the tight ends and stuff like that without giving it to big boy in the back. That's what that's what's gonna set every offense up anyway. You got you got to give it to the back. That's what you have to do. And Bijan Robinson is the key for them uh, to get going. So, yeah, stop yeah. Bijan and you stop Kirk. He's a dangerous man. He's a dangerous man. That sucker right there is a he's he's a load. He's a load. He's good. He's good. 
uh, uh, 0 and 4. Uh, Kirk Cousins is 0 and 4 against Kansas City in his career. 0 and 2 when he was with Washington, and 0 and 2 when he was in Minnesota. So now let's make it 0 and 5, uh, 0 and 3 with uh, all his teams that he's uh, that he's played on. Um, oh, it looks like you're gonna have a lot of people, and uh, you might might see Amda. Amda's gonna be at the game, JD. You need, you need to link uh, up with him. I'm the Brown man. I'm gonna be down that way too, my brother. Be down that way too, man. So I, I'll yeah. let you wave at you. See where see where everybody is. Hi everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify and anywhere else you get your podcasts.